Hey guys, it's Sebastian. So as you guys might know, if you guys have tried to DM me, I don't reply to DMs much. And I try to when I can, but I just get overwhelmed with the amount of DMs I get. So I can't answer all of your guys' questions individually. The next best thing is to post a questionnaire on my Instagram and then get all of your guys' common questions, compile them into a list and answer them on a video. So that is what I'm doing in this video. Now, before we get into it, be sure to leave a like and click subscribe if you haven't already because I got eaten alive by a bug last night. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's pretty intense and it's very itchy. Quick side notes. I thought this bug bite was just a normal bug bite, but it actually turned into a staph infection. So that's why this video is going up late. I had to go to the urgent, or I had to go to urgent care in LA before I drove home. So keep that in mind uh, because I, I normally don't go off of schedule, but that happened. Obviously my health is very important. So yeah, keep that in mind. But now that that is out of the way, let's get into these questions. The first question is what's my end goal? So for myself, I'm just focused on growing my e-commerce brands and building up a lot of cash so that I can then grow a huge brand that I'm really focused on for years to come, like 10, 10 years, 20 years, and grow that to hundreds of millions of dollars a year. I don't really see myself retiring anytime soon just because I like working on projects and I like building things from the ground up. It's just fun to me. I like the journey of growing a company. So for myself, I don't think I'm going to just make millions of dollars and then exit my companies and then retire. That's not something I'm interested in, but yeah, I would say that's my end goal. Just build up companies to hundreds of millions of dollars a year. Will dropshipping work next year? Yes, definitely. Dropshipping has been around for a while and it will be around for years to come. The thing is a lot of things change every single year. So shipping times, a lot of people are getting used to two day shipping or one week shipping from Amazon. So you have to implement similar shipping times to your websites. And then also your store has to be set up pretty well because a lot of consumers are getting used to the traditional dropshipping layout for your websites. There are a lot of things, I mentioned this in my last video yesterday, but there are overall a lot of things you have to change, but short answer, yes, dropshipping will be around next year. Beginners like me look up to you, what is it like when you're at this level? Okay, so for your instance, I was in your same position last year or two years ago, where I was looking up to people making six figures a month profit or multiple six figures a month, and I thought that it was just insane. And it at the time when I was looking at them, I thought that they just had everything figured out and all the money in the world and they were just like completely satisfied, which yes, I am definitely satisfied with the amount of money I'm making. I can do whatever I want any day of the week, pretty much. So that is nice, but the thing is, once you get to certain levels, you realize that it's not that difficult, and then you look for new levels to reach, which growth is not bad, but just understand that no matter the money you make, you're most likely just always wanting to grow more. And it's again, it's fine, but um, just keep that in mind. And then also, you have to do a lot more stuff and make sure you're set up legally uh, for a lot of your companies. That's another thing that you will have to focus a little bit more time on. So overall, it's a great feeling to be making a lot of money, but understand it's not the end. Like there's a lot more that has to go on. And it's not like I just sit at home all day and don't do anything. Like a year ago, that's that's what I was doing. I was playing video games, uh, you know, making a few thousand dollars a month here and there. Now I'm at the point where I don't play any video games. I'm working most hours of the day and I have a few hours to chill out with my family, eat, go out. Out, um, but mostly I'm working so just keep that in mind if you guys have the goal to make six figures per month you're gonna work a lot are taxes with dropshipping hard and do you charge sales tax yes always charge sales tax taxes with dropshipping aren't too difficult you just want to have a good accountant that knows what they're doing and then also make sure you have the proper company structure so some people ask LLC or like do you run it under yourself or do you run it under an S Corp I would suggest asking an accountant it will make sense to do an S Corp the more money you make so for myself I do it under an S Corp because that will save me a lot more money. An LLC, you have to actually pay a fee based on revenue every single year, which is not efficient if you are making a lot of revenue and not profits. Obviously, that's not the goal, but um, yeah, I would just say talk to an accountant, but no, taxes aren't really difficult at all for dropshipping. When should I register a business? For myself, I took quite a while to register a business and I don't suggest waiting a long time. I would say after you're getting comfortable with dropshipping and you have money to put into opening the company up and getting it all formed properly, I would say then at that point do it. So maybe after $10,000 revenue, and none of this video is legal advice. I'm not saying all this stuff is definite and the true law. I'm simply giving you guys my take on these topics. How come you evade questions like, are you a millionaire? My whole channel and my whole personal brand Yes, I do post myself making money and stuff, but my main thing, I don't wanna say like exactly how much I'm worth. Um, it's just not really important to you guys. Obviously, you guys may trust me more if I said I was a millionaire or something like that, but I don't really care for that too much. But if, to put things in perspective, uh, last month I made, I don't know, a hundred and something thousand dollars. This month I've already made over a hundred thousand dollars. The store that I'm running right now, I could exit for 
over seven figures. So there, there you go. <laughs> um, the next question is, is $20 profit on a $50 product good margins? No, I wouldn't do a product like that just because you have to get um, under $20 cost per purchase on each sale to be profitable. So I would look into getting a product, like if you're selling a product for 50, maybe source it for 15 to 20 at max, but I would aim for 15 shipped. How to figure out the right price for your product. It's very simple. Run ads towards a product, whatever one you're trying to sell, mark it up to as high price as you can charge for the product and see how it does. If it performs well, keep it at that price. That's essentially what I do because sometimes people think they can't sell a product for a lot and then you try it out and it does sell at a higher price. I would say overall, just test out the product at different price ranges and see what works best. Some people run a product and it doesn't sell well because they have the product price too high. Sometimes it's priced too low and it looks scammy, so that's why a lot of people don't buy it. So just keep that in mind when you're running a product because there are a lot of factors that can go into it when you have ads that aren't really performing too well. The next question someone asked, is this my new place? This is not my new place. This is just an Airbnb in LA. I had a meeting yesterday, so I decided to just get an Airbnb for a few days here and chill out, but I'm actually leaving right after I film this video and then edit it. I'm gonna be going back home. So no, this is not my new place, but I should be getting one in the next few months. I have to talk to my accountants and see if I wanna move out of state or do anything like that. So I don't know, we'll see. I'm not really positive though. The next question someone asked, how long does it take on average to start seeing good results. It varies. For myself, I started seeing good results after a few months with dropshipping, but it took me a while to actually get to the six figure per month mark. It did, it's not like it took me six months. It took me quite some time, so keep that in mind, but I have some friends who have gotten success and done six figures a month in their first year of dropshipping, first six months, so again, it varies. There's a lot of stuff to learn, and if you are committed to making it work, cut everything else that isn't important out of your life and focus on dropshipping because you can make it work pretty quickly. The issue is I didn't go jump all the way into it. I was kind of half-assing it, so that's why I didn't see results right away, so keep that in mind. Um, but yeah, results vary. Someone else asked, what will I do when dropshipping is dead? For myself, once dropshipping is dead, which is not likely to happen anytime soon, by the time dropshipping is dead, I should already have that brand built up and grown to probably multiple eight figures per year, maybe nine figures, I'm not really sure. We'll have to see when the time comes, but uh, dropshipping is not gonna be dead anytime soon, just because there's always a need for products and dropshipping is literally just connecting a buyer to the supplier and being the middleman. If you think about it, Amazon dropships, they just create the platform and then everyone sells on their platform and people think they're buying from Amazon, but they're buying from third-party sellers. So keep that in mind. Dropshipping is not gonna be dead, but there are going to be changes like any business model. Someone asked how I keep track of all my finances. If you can, hire an accountant or someone to manage your books. If not, I would suggest using something like QuickBooks. QuickBooks is great to see exactly how much is coming in and out of your bank account, and then you can see how much you're making per month or how much you're losing per month and adjust accordingly for your businesses. So QuickBooks is easy. If you can afford it though, I would suggest having someone manage your books. How long did it take me to make over $1,000 daily? For myself, I didn't start making $1,000 daily consistently until last year. So before then, I wasn't doing $1,000 every single day pretty much. So I would say two years or so, which is a long journey. And now I'm at the point where I'm doing well over that. But yeah, two years. I don't think it needs to take that long though. Again, I was not fully committed. I wasn't really fully committed until this year to dropshipping because I had been doing a lot of other things and trying out other ventures. It wasn't until this year where I really focused on it and it's shown great results. Someone asked what I'm doing with all the money I earn, investing it back into inventory and getting more content for my brands. Also ordering in a ton of inventory for some of my other brands just because I need to be sure I have enough to suffice for all of my orders for Q4 because I wanna make sure I'm providing fast shipping times for my customers. Overall, investing it back into my brand and that's kind of it. Someone asked if Shopify Payments is reliable when you're scaling to 10K per day. For myself, I don't use Shopify Payments, I use Stripe. In the next week or so, I'm moving all of the payment processing to a private payment processor just because I'll be saving, I believe, an extra percent on all of the transactions processed, so that's good, but I don't really use Shopify Payments. Overall, I would suggest you guys, if you can, use Stripe or use something else, but if you have to use Shopify Payments, do them, just make sure you're fulfilling your orders on time and have everything as far as the legal aspect goes, taken care of. Because Shopify payments, they request quite a bit of information from you. Someone asked words for those failing but want to succeed. Don't give up if you really want to succeed. It's a journey and understand your journey can take a crazy positive turn at any time. So just keep working hard and you'll make it work. The issue is a lot of people quit with dropshipping or with whatever they're doing and that's why they don't get results and then they complain and say the business model didn't work.
work. Dropshipping works very well. You just have to stay consistent and don't give up. It sounds so cliche and I know that. I used to watch videos like this and watch the people say like, oh, don't give up and you will make a lot of money. I was like, shut up. There's gotta be a secret. There's <laughs> not a secret. You just have to keep working hard at it. So you'll develop enough knowledge to consistently pull in a lot of money. So that's my advice to those who are failing but want to succeed. Side note, this bug bite on my arm is insanely itchy. So if you guys see me itching down here, that's why. Someone asked cash on delivery. A lot of people think I do cash on delivery for this store just because my revenue is so high compared to the amount of visits I get on my websites and my overall ROAS is high. No, I don't do cash on delivery. I don't even know how I would set that up if I'm being completely honest. So no, not doing cash on delivery. Some people also think I'm selling replica goods, not selling replica goods. A lot of people drop ship like fake Louis Vuitton, fake Gucci and that stuff, not doing that as well. I'm gonna do two more questions and then wrap this up. So this first one is, was I school smart? I definitely was, but I didn't apply myself because I knew that school wasn't the option for me. Like I wasn't planning on going to college or doing anything normal, like getting a degree and then getting a job. So I never really focused on school. And I'm not saying like in high school, I never focused even in first, second, third grade. I just was not someone who cared about school at all. And I, it's not that I was dumb. I just didn't really feel the need to invest all of this time into something that's probably wasn't going to pay out much. I'm not saying you guys should all drop out of school and do dropshipping. I'm just simply saying for myself, I've been driven for quite some time. School just didn't seem like something I should invest my time in. The last question I'm gonna be doing, has Stripe ever held your money? For myself, once, they started holding it because I was getting chargebacks, which is very logical. If any store is getting chargebacks, they are likely to hold a percentage of your funds. So yes, but all the stores that I've ran legitimately and made sure that the product quality is great and I'm taking care of my customers, no, they've never held any of my funds. So that's great and I'm super grateful for that. So make sure if you're getting holds or getting anything like that, it's probably because you're doing something wrong on the back end, whether it's shipping times, customer support, or anything in regards to that. That's going to wrap it up for this Q&A. Hope you guys got massive value from it. If you did, leave a like and click subscribe if you haven't already because I post daily dropshipping content. But other than that, I'll see you guys in tomorrow's video.